Hello there, my name is Olivia, I'm the Witch of Wonderlust here on YouTube and on Instagram, and today we're doing an unboxing video. The tea I'm drinking is Pumpkin Chai by David's Tea. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. It's one of my favorites for this time of year. So grab yourself something to drink and let's get started. Okay, this is the October Witch's Box. Um, let's just get right into it. Oh, ho, ho. oh, this one's going to be such a fun box. I can already tell. It is October 2021, the Morrigan box. Check that out. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I don't work with deities, and I've said that before, but the Morrigan is a fascinating deity. That's our tarot card for this month. Okay, so... Dearest Magical Souls, I'm gonna read this one this time. October is always a special month for us because it's the anniversary of the very first Witch's Box that was ever sent out. We are four years old. Congratulations, Witch's Box. I'll write a bit more about that in the weekly newsletter because this letter is specifically about the box and how October is our favorite month for witchery. And the Morrigan, known by many names, Phantom Queen, Guardian of the Dead, Goddess of the Dead, to name a few, the three sisters or aspects, she often appears as a crow and is the keeper of fate and the give of prophecy. This box is a small doorway into the world of the Morrigan, which will culminate in our life gathering at the end of the month, where Morgan Daimler, I think it's Daimler, Daya, I, I'm really sorry if I mispronounced that, who wrote the book in the box, oh, there's a book in the box, who wrote the book in the box, will be joining us to usher us through the powerful realm of this Celtic deity. Blessings, Elena. I'm so excited. I guess we can look at these, uh, these grimoire pages. We have Morrigan Protection Salt. Oh, that's interesting. Uses, put a small amount in the bowl or offering plate on your altar in the room where you were doing your magical workings. Up to for a week, then offered back to the earth. Sprinkle around the yard or area. Don't dump the salt in one place at the base of a plant because it can be detrimental. Okay, and then Angelica Root. I love Angelica Root. So these are the Grimoire pages. We're gonna set those aside. Huh. I'm gonna assume this is the Angelica Root. Yes, ooh, that's a big bag too. Nice. That's exciting. I need more actually, so that's helpful. Um, oh, oh my god. Oh, we got another tarot. I've been getting so many tarot decks this month. I mean, I'm not mad about it. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Let's open. I'm going to open these and do a little flip through at the very end. So if you want to stay for that, please do. Look at this art. Very Inktober vibes art. Um, here's that salt, protection salt. Oh no. Well. <laughs> um. Okay, well, I guess that's just gonna happen. That's okay. Ooh. Ooh, it smells like, it smells like magic. It smells like sage. There's a lot of sage in there. Matches my nails too. Well, my nail. Uh, oh, it's a crow feather, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's a crow feather. And the book. Oh, what an awesome box. Oh my god, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, cool. Let's clean up here. The author will apparently be at a monthly meeting that they have for these boxes. If you don't know about the witch's box, I've mentioned it before, but they do monthly meetings after um, everybody receives the box. So at the very end of the month, they do Zoom meetings and you can talk about the box or like talk about um, different things that you've gotten in it or how you used the box and kind of the theme. And it's really, really fun to like chat with everybody. Um, and then sometimes if they have books or with the book box, because they have book boxes every month as well, they usually um, try to get the author so that you can ask them questions or talk to them. So that's super cool. 
and it, it looks like a pretty light read. I mean, it, look, it seems like a pretty light read. I haven't read it, but <laughs> um, I would assume that this is like kind of like a crash course in this. That's so cool. Okay, let me make sure we have the tarot deck, the book, a real crow feather legally collected, it says. Uh, a crow skull charm. It's, I think I must have missed that. Oh, there it is. See, this is why I read it. Gorgeous. Crow skull charm, witch's box, apothecary bag of angelica root, salt blend, two books of shadows, and the tarot card. And this. Ooh, okay. So that's really exciting. I adore this box and I think I also just really love tarot cards but um and angelica root love it uh and crows are definitely uh, a local oh well, I mean they're kind of everywhere but some of the birds that I definitely chat with and work with pretty often well I don't even work with them I just I just like them um I like hanging out with them let's do a flip through I'm gonna set this up though so that it's aesthetic and pretty to look at so give me a second I am just stoked All right, so we're gonna do a flip through and I'm gonna put the mic down here so that you can have some uh, tarot card ASMR. How's that sound? Cool.
And that was the Witch's Box unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.